<laughs> What's going on, Gorilla Girls Nation? How's everybody doing out there? It is Friday, and we are super, super stoked, except for the fact it's freezing outside. Oh my gosh. I mean, I grew up in South Alabama. I don't have the blood for this Michigan winter, I gotta tell you. So, anyway. Drew's a weenie. Ah, uh, Jesus. Ah, uh, you're right, I kind of am, actually, when it comes to this weather. Hence the reason. You know it's Friday, we have a hot cocktail for you. We've been doing those the last couple of weeks, so that's gonna be awesome. Nice and easy. Uh, just pretty much apple cider, hot apple cider, and some rum. Spike cider, yeah. Spike yeah. cider, baby. A nice, simple pork loin with uh, South Carolina rub, which we're gonna make here in just about two seconds. And then last but not least, we're gonna do some potato bundles with just super simple salt, pepper, dill, a little bit of oil, that's it, all right? So let's start with this bad boy. Let's get on our way. So let's actually start with the rub. All right, bowl, <laughs> obviously. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, and this is super simple. It literally has eight ingredients. GrillTheGrills.com under sauces and rubs. This is right here for you. And what I love about this rub, it's going to have straight up, its base is going to be paprika to the tune of a quarter of a cup, all right? That's a lot of paprika. In this case, we're actually using smoked paprika, all right? It's totally cool if you don't. I think it does add a little bit of an extra zen, but you do your thing. That's like half that container, right? Oh, I'd say of this container right here, a good frame of reference, man, three quarters of this container. Okay. Over cup, all right? So a lot. This is super, super heavy on that, all right? A little bit of chili powder here. The rest is very simple. Quarter of a cup to two tablespoons of everything else, all right, with the exception of the cayenne. Boom, all right, a little bit of cumin. While you're doing this, like, what makes it a South Carolina rub, I guess? This is just their deal. And the fact that it makes it a South Carolina rub, and what's interesting about it, there's no mustard in it, okay, which is what you normally think. What makes it a South Carolina rub is it is super, like, its base is paprika. Okay? Got it. I don't have the info for you, and I'll find out for you, Grill the Grill Station. I didn't think about that before we got live today. I don't have the information on the, on the history of this, which I normally do, but I will get a hold of that and find out for you. If you have any questions about that, I will answer it, okay? Normally I call for cayenne pepper. Didn't have any cayenne pepper in house today. You know what, that's fine. I'm using ancho chili, right? Just ancho chili powder, super good. And one thing I love, guys, when we're cooking together like this, is I love talking about substitutions. I like talking about the things in the recipes that we've written together as a team here that we're putting out to uh, live or recorded or whatever we're doing and talking about those substitutions because right now with all the supply chain stuff and everything that's going on, we have to learn how to improvise. So I have no qualms in telling you, hey, you know what? This is the recipe I wrote a few days ago. This is what we're doing and this is why Ancho chili is just as good as cayenne, has a little bit more flavor, actually a little bit more smoke, and it's super cool, okay? Also, a little bit of uh, dark brown pepper here. Dark brown pepper? <laughs> yes, exactly. Let me catch it. All right, we call that about four tablespoons. Dark brown sugar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, man. At that point, I'm just going to go ahead and sit back and wait for you to give me the wrath because I deserve it. All There's right, people out there who are just as smart as me, and frankly, I would have believed you if and you said like, black pepper. Okay, but that's what we call this live, guys. We can't edit that stuff out. So, you know, that's what's done is done, and it's also kind of funny. All right, guys. So there's that. I'm just going to call it that from now on out, Dominic. All right, a couple of uh, tablespoons of kosher salt. Same amount of ground black pepper, all right? And that's it, guys. I mean, super, super simple. Now, let's just give this a nice little kind of toss here. Just mix this until it's well incorporated. And what I love about this, guys, as we can see, is this awesome color. Yeah, that's wild. Isn't it? That's going to make a pork loin or whatever you put it on look really cool. Yep, and we're going to see that here in just a few minutes through our awesome like magic, uh, magic of TV, as I always say. All right, so that's ready to go. Super nice color. Also, if you were here, guys, you could smell it. Super cool aroma, okay? Everything's kind of melding together. Huge pop of that smoke and that smoked paprika. Really, really nice. If you're not into the smoked paprika stuff, no worries. Sweet paprika is just fine. Sweet Hungarian paprika will work just as cool here. It's also got kind of a different kind of hue and color to it, but it looks just as awesome. So whatever floats your boat. That right. smells like when you walk into the back end of a barbecue restaurant. Right. Like you walk into the pit area, that's yeah. what that smells yeah. like. Yeah, and it's, it's also, it's a little, I mean, not aggressive, but it's got some like, it's got some oof to it. Mm. You know what I mean? All right, guys, so we've done pork loin a million times together. The only difference today is we're just going to use this cool rub on it. Nice little incisions here on the top. We're just going to score it. I like with uh, pork loin sometimes just to give it a one 
one slice score. We're not going to go across the hatch here, okay? And then, in case you guys are wondering, there is no mustard in here in this South Carolina rub, but there's going to be mustard, mustard as the binder, okay? We are still hanging out in South Carolina where mustard is king, all right? And again, anytime we're doing this, I always recommend just some regular old yellow mustard, okay? That's what we need. All of those South Carolina barbecue sauces that we love so much, okay? They're all made, that base, that South Carolina mustard and vinegar, it's always just straight up yellow mustard. Nothing fancy, doesn't need to be fancy, all right? Let's go ahead and season this bad boy up, all right? Look at that. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Nice liberal application, guys, as I always say. All right, got to have it. One thing that's good to remember about this rub, too, it's not salty. Like, nope. it is not a very salty thing. You can literally see the uh, amount of salt in there compared to everything else. Totally. And, and that's not always the case, but it certainly is in this one, okay? Nice, generous rub there, okay? I'm going to turn this over, guys, and once we turn it, we're not turning it again. All right, this thing's going to be ready for the smoker after this. All right, one more application of our mustard. All right. I think our mustard might actually be done here. Let's go ahead and give this the old uh, Eve Ho. All right, perfect. This lends an awesome amount of flavor. And guys, a lot of times I'm like, ah, use whatever binder you want. Use some oil, use some this, use whatever. I really think when we're using this rub, this particular recipe, if we're gonna be using a binder at all, and gosh knows you don't have to, if you're going to, I really think, just out of that South Carolina, um, excuse me, tradition, I think it should be mustard, all right? Nice and liberal application again. Boom. And there we are. We're not done yet. We're just getting started. This is Grill the Grills, baby. All right. Sweet. Love that. All right. Now, next part, super easy. 275 degrees, guys. And I know we've been doing this a lot lately, but I'm really loving this 275 degrees lately. We cook a lot of food around here. We do a lot of shoots on the regular, give you kind of a glimpse into our life here at Grill the Grills as we're doing all of this stuff. We also have other things that we're responsible for here. So 275 degrees, I'm finding in the normal day in, day out kind of life of how things are professionally and everything that we have going on, it's working just fine. It's doing great. So I know you guys are busy too, okay? You get home from work, you gotta get something out quick, throw it on there, 275. Let's not be all consumed with this 225, this 250 stuff. That's great when you have time for it. 275 is fine when you don't, okay? Let's check this out over here, going on our silver bag. That's a really good way to put it too. I mean, yeah. frankly, I would love to spend 12 hours doing a pork butt at 225. 100%. Tastes great, comes out phenomenal. Yeah. I do not have that time seven days out of the week. No, it's not Not every night, it's Friday or Saturday night, right? This is all about just getting something out. Speaking of getting something out, our side's actually gonna be kind of cool with this too. All right, straight on guys, going on the silver bag. Again, 275 here, ready to rock and roll. Nice little application with our mustard and our South Carolina rub, okay? Boom. Gonna give this a nice close. And then this next part is super, super simple, guys. This is kind of one of those deals when you get home after work, you can just kind of throw everything on and just kind of let it do its thing while you're carrying on with life. And the next thing you know, two hours down the line, guess what? Dinner's ready, all right? Here we go. All right, we're gonna do just some potato bundles here. And this is about as simple as it gets. And something that I found out, I know we're always thinking like potatoes, like, oh man, we gotta cook it this degree, that degree, whatever. If you throw these potatoes in, right around the same time you throw this meat in at 275, after a couple of hours, by the time this pork comes up to temperature, which of course is what we wanted, about 160 to 165, okay? It'll rest out to the rest. Um, you can just leave this in there the whole time and almost down to the dollar, or down to the moment, I should say, uh, you're gonna have it all ready at the same time. So, it's kind of cool, I think. So, very simple ingredients here, guys. A little bit of olive oil spray or any kind of non-stick spray. Just on the outside here of our foil, just to keep things from sticking. In here we have some whole potatoes. Guys, cut them up if you want to. It makes no difference to me. I think it's kind of cool when they're whole like that. All right, a little bit of oil. All right, salt, pepper. Salt them taters. Salt them taters, baby. <laughs> a little bit of pepper. 
Grill the grills just a little bit more pepper. You can tell it. I'm getting excited, man. Today's Friday. Like I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready waiting to for this weekend. that. <laughs> I think I'm. I'm ready. Like every time Monday kicks in, I'm already ready for Friday. <laughs> Not that I don't love my job, but I'm you know I'm a human being, man. I like I like to hang out. All right, here we go. So we always do cocktails on Fridays. Maybe that's what I'm excited about. Who knows? All right, nice toss in here, guys. Nice even coat. And you can do anything, guys. If you don't like grill, that's fine. You can use Italian seasoning. You can use dry thyme. You can use whatever you want to. Fresh herbs, dried herbs, doesn't matter. No herbs. Maybe you just want some salt, pepper, some oil. That's totally cool. The Goomba in me is very angry that you didn't put some garlic in there, but I'll live. <laughs> you can put that in there, too. <laughs> I mean, there you go. I love how um, politically correct you are, my friend. <laughs> while we get along. All right, cool. So we can see a nice even coating there, guys. And this is about as easy as it gets. We're literally doing an all-inclusive meal here. Everything coming off the Silverback or the OG. You can even do this on the chip, no problem. All right, coming in. Nice little bundle. Look at we're just calling this a bundle. And something I really kind of like to do, just take a little bit of a tear here, and on the other side here. So let a little bit of that steam get out of the way. A little vent. A little vent, that's it. Throw it right in there. I like to go to the top rack with this. We got our meat down here. Throw this bad boy up here. You can sort of shut that thing and forget about it for two hours. At about the two hour mark, and guys, I always start checking the temperature of the meat after about an hour, two hour and a half, okay? Just so you know. But almost like clockwork, at the two hour mark, everything's gonna be ready, all right? Booyah, so that's all set. Now the next thing, what do we have to do? Oh yeah, we have to make cocktails. Let's make some cocktails, and then we'll look in to see what this stuff looks like after, okay? And there's nothing crazy here. We're going to be doing some dark rum. In this glass, I have a slice, a very thin slice of Granny Smith apple. Okay, I chose this apple specifically because it's a little bit tart. And this uh, apple cider that we're going to be using and this rum is super, super sweet. All right, so just a nice kind of counterbalance here. Outside of these two ingredients, all right? And this rum, oh yeah, there we go. You can tell how sweet it is. It's just like glued in there. A little dark rum here in the bottom. All right, super easy. And gosh, it's cold here in Michigan. This will just warm you right up, okay? That's all it is. Guys, if for some eh, reason- A little more. Okay, you're right. It's Friday. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now, now we're actually like proper, proper really grill style there. I like right. my Granny Smith apples swimming. <laughs> Right, so we have, okay Dominic, this will be yours then, okay, go see which one is fuller. All right, so we have that, guys, and for some reason, I know it's kind of, we always used to kind of think of this as like an autumn thing, if we can't find that, no problem. The cinnamon stick in there will take care of it, just use hot apple juice, okay, whatever is totally fine. In this case, we were able to get our hands on some cider, right in there nice That's and That's what, the, okay, now I understand why that was over there. Yeah, there's a method to my madness, all right. All right, this is going to you, mister. Take you to a meeting after this. Uh-huh. There we go. Only meeting I got is with Jesus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> it's time for, we've been together for five straight days now. I think it's time for a break. Cheers, everybody. Mm-hmm. Right, here we go. Oh, sorry. I drank before I cheers. <laughs> no, my I don't bad. blame you. That's actually pretty oh, good. Oh, it's so good. I'll take it. And then actually, just in case in point, guys, I know you think it's just kind of arbitrary that that Granny Smith apple sits in here, but when you pour that hot cider on top of it, or hot apple juice, whatever the case may be that you use, it does really immediately unlock some of that flavor, and that tartness comes out and kind of counterbalances some of that sweetness. So there actually is a pretty cool purpose to it. Now, that enough, is all I'm gonna be drinking for the next two weeks. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Enough of my nerdiness, though. Let's get down to business. Let's see how we do. All right, here we go. Got a pork loin here. Move all this stuff over. I forgot another cutting board, and I really don't care. We're just gonna rock and roll with this. I nah, just cut it on the table. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do it on here. There we go. Beautiful. Let's cut it right here. Got to keep things kind of clean around these parts. All right, guys. So let's cut in here. We can see this beautiful kind of caramelization of these sugars on the outside. Okay, let's go right to the center here. You can see how the brown sugar reacted in there. It's oh, delicious. Man, can you ever? And look at that, just beautiful. Oh, it's coming right out. And that's been resting for what, an hour now? At least, at least an hour. At least an hour, guys. And this is super simple. Super, super simple, super delicious. All right, this is how we like it. Easy meal at the end of the day. 
this nice fun meal on the weekends. Let's just go ahead and pop this bad boy out like that. Gotta get a little fancy with it. All right. Just looks phenomenal. Right. It really does. And you know, the, you know, I tell you what, these grills strike again every single time. I was out running errands all day today. We were busy around these parts. Friday's always all around here. I just let these things kind of go and do their thing. I wasn't worried about them. I came back, checked the temperature, pulled them off the grill, and we're all set. So that's one of my favorite things about using these things is you can get a phenomenal product and still live your life. You know, we're not babysitting anything. We're just making great food happen, and that to me is the best part. Last but not least, guys, here we are. We got these potato bundles. Got some salty taters. It's got this. Don't even get me started though with it. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have given me this drink. <laughs> All right, guys, super easy. Again, these were in here about the same amount of time. Reduced cookie temperature, it takes them a little bit longer, but it still works. Look at that, just for case in point, we can perfectly see they're done. That is perfect. There you go, boom. Nice kind of crust on the outside there. Beautifully delicious, and everybody is happy as a clam. And how easy was that? I mean, I mean, nothing to it. These are all common kitchen items. We're guaranteed to have some dried herbs. Dill or not, you're gonna have some. Salt and pepper, you're gonna have it. Some sort of oil, you're gonna have it. I guarantee it. Most of the stuff in that dry rub, you're probably gonna have it. If not, improvise. It's all good, okay? Simple stuff, right on the grill, 275 degrees, couple hours, and then you're having dinner, all right? Guys, we love you. Love you, love you, love you. We always wish you this every single Friday. Be safe out there. If you have too many of these, there's a thing called Uber. We love you guys. Have a great weekend on The Smoke, and we'll see you next week. Cheers, everybody.